Well, first of all, congratulations. Like, this has to feel good, I, I would imagine. Thank you. It feels really good. <laughs> Does it feel even better knowing how much you had to work for this? I know your teammate is fighting. You probably want to watch this, huh? He is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, it felt good. I felt really good coming into this one. I felt confident, you know, and made some changes in my training and my camp and, um, you know, just going in, I felt completely different. I had gotten to the point where, you know, I'm sure a lot of people get to that point. You feel just nerves and dread when you walk in the cage. It's almost like you don't want to be there anymore. And I had gotten to that point and, you know, it was a totally different feeling, totally different vibes this time. It felt so good walking in. So, you know, I knew from the start it was going to be different. How did you kind of change that mindset of not wanting to be in there anymore? Um, you know, I think for me, it was mostly a confidence thing. Um, I had just, you know, I'd had some fights. I had gotten into, I'm sorry, my teammate is fighting and he was, <laughs> something. Um, you know, I think it was, I think it was a confidence thing. I had, um, I had had some really big fights that I had lost and just, you know, lost back to back. And, um, you know, I knew I knew I needed to do something different. I needed to make some changes in the way that I was training and, you know, the things that I was doing leading into it. And I think coming out to syndicate and training with these guys out here was was that thing that it, that I needed to do to change, you know, my entire mindset. So. Are you going to be out here full time now or are you already out here full time? I would like to be. I'm working on getting out here as, as soon as I can. Um, and what about, I mean, just from the first to the second round, what did you have to tell yourself? What did you change from the first round to the second round? Um, you know, I knew that Gina's first round was going to be her best. She always comes in pretty hard. She's pretty strong. Um, first round's usually my worst. Takes me a little while to, like, feel out my opponent, you know, understand what they're going to do, how they're going to be fighting. So, um, you know, I just I got through that first round, kind of got a feel of her. And, you know, she wasn't she wasn't as scary or strong as, you know, you always play them out to be in your head. And so in the second round, you know, she went for the takedown. I knew I didn't want to end up on the bottom, so we just made sure to end up on top. And then it was game plan from there. Was there anything about her that surprised you? Um, no, you know, like like I said, she was pretty strong in the first round. You know, she felt good. She pretty much did what, what we game planned for, what we expected. So. And when do you want to get back in there? As soon as possible. Do you have an opponent in mind? No. Thank you. Uh, right here. Uh, there was a couple of moments there. You absorbed a couple of big body kicks. Uh, it looks like you got clipped with a knee as well. Was there ever a, a situation in there where you were in trouble? Um, you know, nothing nothing too scary at first. You know, she got me with a couple of hard shots. And, you know, that's, like I said, my first round's kind of just feeling them out. I, prob I usually absorb probably more than I should in the first round. But, um, you know, I, I took a few. She, she wasn't anything terrifying, anything that, you know, I felt like was going to just knock me out out of the blue. So um, I have been a little bit concerned about body shots since I had my baby. But, um, you know, none of them, none of them really phased me. I didn't really feel any of it. So when you got in that top position there at the end, um, it seemed like she had little to no resistance whatsoever. Once you finally, when you got gotten that full mount, um, did you feel that from her uh, when you got in that position in terms of whether the gas was gone or if she was hurt? Um, yeah, you know, that's just kind of what we had trained for. Um, I didn't want to end up on the bottom when she went for the takedown. I just I just knew, you know, give it all to end up on top. And then, you know, once I did and settled in, settled my hips in, that's what we had trained pretty much the whole camp to do is just to get on top and to settle down and not be as wild on the top as I have been in the past. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats on the win. If you could elaborate a little bit with the syndicate, what made you feel at home? What made you feel welcome? What clicked? Um, okay, so... With five weeks left in my camp, I called my manager, Danny, and I asked him if I could do something different. And, um, you know, that was kind of kind of one of the things that was up in the air. So I decided to drive out to Las Vegas and train with Syndicate. I had not spoken to many people at the gym at all, but they took me in and accepted me just like family. They've been right here just like, you know, just like my old camps have. And it, you know, I just felt really welcomed and accepted and it felt good to be here. That's excellent. There's a couple of fighters who mentioned that about relocating. Did you get to use the PI at all or any other? I did. And that was one of the, it was just really great having those resources available to me. It was the easiest weight cut I've ever had in my life. Um, absolutely, just absolutely love being here. Great to hear. Um, you mentioned, the uh, the little one, how has that changed everything, becoming a mother? It has. It has changed everything. Um, you know, I already had a kid. I, I have an 11-year-old and a 1-year-old now. Um, but I have 
not had to care for a toddler going through a fight camp until recently. So um, it, it's always interesting. It's always fun with him. Um, this camp, you know, you know, the last five weeks I've been out in Las Vegas, and of course my family is super supportive. So they took the baby. They've got him for me right now. I'm pretty excited to go back to him. I did start getting pretty homesick and miss the baby, so I actually had to fly home one weekend just to see him. But it's different for sure, different from, from the same experience that other fighters have, I'm sure. Excellent. Well, congrats on the win. Happy early Mother's Day. Yay. <laughs> Look forward to seeing you fight more days. Thank you so much.